joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea, and joy, gentle viewer, to you and me. Welcome back. Last time on the holiday, we had just discovered a new region, the Sea of Melody. And I should note that when you discover a new region, you are awarded a trophy, but I ended the video capture a little too early and missed that. Apologies. Uh, I should also offer a correction here. In my intro to part one of this uh, edition of I Played a Thing, I mentioned that previous games in the Aquanauts Holiday series had been released in the US. Uh, as it turns out, Aquanauts Holiday 2 was not in fact brought over here. I don't know why I thought it had. But rather, uh, only Aquanauts Holiday 1, the original on the PlayStation 1, did in fact get a release here. As always, we at I Played a Thing regret the error. Anyway, it looks like we're going to need a battery to get very far into the Sea of Melody, but we can explore a bit and make a few registrations first. While new regions generally do not have completely unique populations, there isn't a huge amount of overlap. So when you find a new region, you'll usually be able to find a lot of new life forms very quickly. Oh, and we get our first Nasu. These are really useful. Even having just one of them, which is all we can carry at first, will be a big advantage. Eventually, when we upgrade the dolphin, we'll be able to carry more Nasu, but even just having the first one will speed us up quite a bit for now. The game's explaining it right now, but the brief version is the Nasu is like a quick travel beacon. You put one just about anywhere you want, and then you can go to it any time, including from Kasira base. This is especially useful if you have to come back to base to get a battery, because when you find a place where you're going to need a battery, you can put down your Nasu, zip back to the base, get your battery, then return to the Nasu to uh, pick right back up where you left off. we can catch up on the latest gossip. What does you mean by? Uh... Boop, boop, um... I don't know about mimicry, but she does have a talent for really strange automatopoeia. I think Kemmelman is constitutionally incapable of saying when he just doesn't know what the fuck. If he doesn't know the actual answer, he'll just make shit up. That's what a layman would say. Oh, Kemmelman. So enduringly haughty. One of the usual, my good man. Oh, and we get our first Nasu for free. He said we can't have another one because we're already at maximum, so... We don't even have to pay for our first one. Very cool. And Dolphin's gonna give us a quick tutorial on that, but... All you really need to know about it, uh is just what I explained uh, a few moments ago, that it's a, more or less a teleport point you can put just about anywhere you want. Uh, I should also mention that not only uh, will it allow you to travel to it, but you can also pick it up and redeploy it somewhere else. So it's not like you're setting a quick travel point forever. They are reusable, which is especially nice before you get more of them.
And here we are at the Sea of Melody once again, with a poppin' fresh battery ready to expand our available exploration range. Ah, and this is the Sono boy that Bill told us we should talk to in order to get another message. And so we do. Something curious will happen if we greet three singers within this region. Well, we'll just have to do that then. Oh, and we get to hear one almost immediately. Well, that's handy. Oh, that's him right up in the corner there. Hey, we found Nemo. juice. It does not even helping. I hear... Twanging. Either that's another singer, or we've just entered Deliverance Country. <laughs> oh, I see him making emissions over there, and there we have it, the Great Seahorse. Hey, I called you. Ding, 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 ding. Simple enough. That sphere's getting pretty full. One more singer, and I think we might top it off. But of course, we'll have to find him first. 